Good morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, but it's almost like Friday because there's no school on Wednesday. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, that song that Ms. Vcock was uh, doing with the third graders, that's just stuck in my head. It's like, uh, what? Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. Love it. Good stuff. We got a lot of... Uh, very musically inclined students here. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Dun, dun, dun. All right, everybody. Today is Tuesday. It's October 4th already. It's day two, day two. And boy, we have so many amazing things to talk about. I don't even know where to begin. Why don't we start off with how about all of our amazing staff members? We've got amazing staff members here at Hoover, and we've got many parents, many students, many teachers, many uh, support staff who've reached out and said, hey, can we recognize some folks as staff members of the month? So here are our staff members of the month for last month. Brrr. Congratulations to Mrs. Borsos, instructional assistant. Congratulations to Mrs. Wirt, school nurse, doing a fabulous job. Congratulations to Mrs. Ring, our coordinator of student affairs. Great job. Congratulations to Ms. Goodwin, teacher. Congratulations, Ms. Hemmelfarb, teacher. Congratulations to Ms. McGuire, teacher. Congratulations to Ms. McGarry, teacher. Congratulations to Ms. Plappert, lunch aide. Congratulations to Ms. Clark, librarian. And congratulations to our two secretaries, Ms. Crowback and Mrs. Headley. Way to go. Woo! And as long as we're talking about celebrations, how about our I Ready Champions of the Week? We've got some amazing kids who are really working hard on iReady. Dun, dun, dun. So in kindergarten, double winner, Miss Goodwin's class for math and reading. Good job. In first grade, for reading, Miss Walter's class. We actually didn't have a winner for the math in first grade. I know it was a short week, and I know we had some people doing some diagnostic testing, but this week we're hoping to get some first grade winners for math. For second grade, we have a tie for math, Mrs. Rafferty's class and Miss Lee's class. For reading, we've got a three-way tie, Miss Krantz's class, Miss Minerva's class, and Miss Lee's class. For third grade, for math, a tie for Miss Nesbitt and Mr. McGee's classes. And again, for reading, another tie, Miss Nesbitt and Miss Lawrence's classes. That means Nesbitt was also a double winner. So Goodwin was a double winner and Nesbitt was a double winner. Awesome. And then for fourth grade, Miss Jackson's class, double winner for math and for reading. And we also have Miss Lawrence as reading. Great job to all of our iReady champions of the week. And hopefully we'll have some more champions of the week coming up. All right. What else is going on? Oh, my goodness. So we've already talked about the fact pretty much in September that we were trying to set the stage for learning, right? We were welcoming people. We were talking about being respectful, responsible, and safe. And now we're trying to get a little bit more into the skills for learning. Skills for learning. What skills do I need in order to learn? So this week, we're really focusing on listening. At our school, we all work hard to be the best learners we can be. One skill for learning is to listen with attention. When we listen with attention, our eyes are watching the speaker. Our ears are listening. Our voices are quiet. And we're still. Still. This week, practice being a great listener every day. I know you can do it. 
All right. Now I'm going to be coming around. Remember before I was uh, including people in uh, Hawk TV who knew how to open their milk. That was great. Great job. But I'm going to be expanding now and I'm going to be looking specifically for students who are great listeners. So if I see some great listeners out there, you might get on Hawk TV. I'm also going to be looking, especially in the car rider line, for students who by themselves can get out of the car and can put on their backpack, grab their lunchbox, wave goodbye to their parents, and enter the building without any help. We're looking for students who can do that. They'll get to be on Hawk TV. And we're also looking for folks, especially maybe like kindergarten and first grade, who are able to finish their lunch during the regularly scheduled lunch period. Now, we'll always give you a little extra time if you need it. We got some people who, you know, they're just like, wow, I'm in the lunchroom. This place is cool. I wonder, maybe I'll get my lunch in a half hour or so. Maybe I'll talk to my friends and maybe I'll start eating around 2, 2.30. You know, that's not really how we want to do it. When you only have 30 minutes for lunch, you want to get your lunch in the first five or 10. You want to say hi to your friends. You want to talk and relax, but you can eat, let the other friend talk, and then you eat a little bit more, and then you'll probably be done about on time. All right. So we're going to be looking for great listeners. We're going to be looking for great car riders, and we're going to be looking for folks who um, are able to finish their lunch on time. All right. Have a great day, everybody. And don't forget, no school tomorrow. So today's Tuesday, but it's kind of like Friday. Woo!